Hello! Shoya here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. The framing was completed the other day, and almost all the moists have been installed. Today, I'm installing sliding glass door frames on the first floor. Next, I'll clean up the site because the plumber is arriving tomorrow. First, I install two sliding glass door frames on the first floor. Modern frames are often made of resin. Although they appear soft, they are actually harder than aluminum frames. Since it is made as if it were welded, it cannot be scratched easily. However, as the frame is one piece, it is not possible to replace only one side if it has been severely damaged. That's a drawback. Instead of installing joists, I will install 24mm structural plywood directly over the sills. Since the flooring is 15mm thick, I shim 3mm under the threshold. I plane a piece of solid wood to 3mm thick and use it as a shim instead of plywood. This will raise the threshold 3mm. It is really hot these days. Even though it was still a few days before the hottest day, it was still hot. Initially, I was wearing a helmet, but I took it off to wipe the sweat from my brow and forgot to put it back on. I was careless. I will be careful from now on. Next, I attach waterproof tape around the frame. The waterproof tape sticks very well and works well. Frame sides and bottoms are fine, but frame tops must be installed in order to prevent water leaks. Now I clean the site. I never thought I would post a cleaning video, but cleaning has always been a part of my job. It was even said in the old days that you could gauge a craftsman's skill by the cleanliness of his site. It's one of our important tasks. After all, it feels good to clean up. As the sleepers are installed in 90cm squares, I first secure them with two 90mm screws on both sides. Although some of these short sleepers are fine, their heights aren't always perfectly aligned. Under low sleepers, I use PP strapping bands as shims. In this way, the height can be adjusted in millimeters. This band does not deteriorate, unlike ordinary vinyl straps. You can use it as a shim under the timber or behind the furring strips. It's very useful. As well as the 90cm sleepers, I secured all the long sleepers attached to the sills with two screws each. Leaving them unsecured or using screws that are too short can cause the entire floor to squeak. 
so it is necessary to secure them firmly. Next, I level the sleeper. I usually install joists when building floor, but they are not used this time. If joists are used, they are higher than sleepers, so it's easy to confirm their height and level them. But in the case, there are no joists, and I'm leveling the sleepers. They are installed in 90cm squares, making it difficult to see if they are level. So to level them in each square, I use a string on each area as a reference. I apply urethane glue to plastic posts. I don't think glue is necessary since the sleeper works downwards, but since it's an accessory for the plastic post, I apply it firmly. Next, I install the diagonal braces and studs on the sills. There are two ways to install them when there is plywood underlay. Install diagonal braces and studs on the plywood underlay and install directly on the sills. Since the plywood underlay is not installed yet, I first install the diagonal braces and studs on the sills. The bathroom builder will be coming soon, so I only insulate the area around the raised foundation and concrete slab. Each of them is neatly surrounded by 50mm of styrofoam, and every gap between them is filled with urethane foam for better insulation. Next, I install the hardware above and under the diagonal braces. This hardware is not for earthquake resistance. It is specially designed for joining diagonal braces and columns together. On the column's top and bottom, there will be more hardware that is used for joining. Each piece of hardware has a unique application. It cannot have two applications. A piece of hardware with multiple applications is a nonsense idea. For example, a water pipe is buried in each hole dug in the ground, and a gas pipe and sewer line are buried in the same way. In total, you dig the ground three times one for each pipe. It's just how it is. I have finished installing the sliding glass door frames, leveling and securing the sleepers, and setting the posts. I'll install 1 meter square of insulation in the square next time, followed by 24 millimeter plywood underlay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.